Good morning, guys. Good morning. Well, listen, I am so excited and it is day two of our fast. I am coming to you from my garage before I go in here and begin my day on today. Uh, I would have done this outside, but guess what? You guys that we have cicadas and they're in my yard and I'm not dealing with them. I don't want any one of them to land on my car and somehow get on me and in my house. <laughs> okay. So I am just beaming in from my garage. So please forgive me, but I have a word from you and I just could couldn't wait any longer. Now, today is day two of our fast. And so yesterday was our day one, and that was putting the armor on. But today is day two. You know, the first day is always, to me, the most challenging day of the fast because it's like breaking your spirit and really aligning you with space. The space to give God the room to do a supernatural work on the inside of you. And as I began to pray this morning, I just thought about a conversation that I had with my youngest daughter on yesterday. You know, she's, you know, blossoming and blooming in her career. She's a young woman. And the one thing I told her was, when it comes to you and your siblings, I trust the work that I have done in you. Because when you are doing the work and it is under the leadership of the Most High and directed and orchestrated by the Spirit of the Most High, then it will never fall flat, but it is orchestrated to produce fruit. And so I want you to think about this today. As you go on about your day today, in the process of this fast or in the process of your life, even when things may seem like they are not going right for you, I want you to just understand that that's just the feeling and that's the furthest thing from the truth. Because I want you to understand this, that God wanted me to remind you today to trust the work. Come on, somebody. Trust the work that God is doing on the inside of you. For Philippians 1 and 6 says that I am convinced and confident of this very thing that he who has began a good work in you will, that is, continue to perfect and complete it until the day of Christ Jesus, which is the time of his return. See, what the enemy loves to do is strip us of our confidence, our confidence in God, our confidence in ourselves, our confidence in whatever it is that we're doing in our lives. And what he tries to do is work through our situations and our circumstances because many of us are not consciously aware of how to really operate our human frame to connect it to supernatural help. But when you go into a fast and you begin to sit down and God begins to strip away old thoughts and old habits and strongholds, you sometimes feel a sadness. Sometimes you feel a, a, a yearning desire to want to go back, to want to eat something, to want to go back to the way that things used to be. But I heard the Lord say that where I'm taking you is somewhere new. He wants you to lose your appetite when it comes to sinful things and acquire a new taste when it comes to holy things. And so I want you to understand today that regardless of how difficult it may seem to your flesh, even if your flesh is crying out, your situations are crying out, things in your life may be crying out, wanting to recruit you back into the foolishness. I want you to trust the word. Come on, somebody. That God is doing on the inside of you. I want you to trust the supernatural work. Come on today. That God is doing on the inside of you. I want you to trust that stronghold. Come on today. That God is releasing up all for your life. I want you to trust the process. Come on. Of sanctification that God is doing 
in your life. I want you to trust the work that God is doing to transmute old energies and spirits out of your frame. I want you to trust the process of what God is doing for you. I want you to have a feeling of knowing that in God, everything is possible. You can be assured and cool and calm and collected because you know God is working on your behalf. You should trust, which means that you need to have a firm belief in the work. Come on that God is doing in you. So many times throughout scripture, we heard our savior say, it's your faith that healed you. Come on, somebody. It is your belief that got you access to what's on the inside of me to set you free. And I want you to understand that when you trust something, you have a firm belief in the reliability. You trust that ability, the strength of someone, of something. There's a belief, there's a faith, there's certainty, there is assurance, there is reliance. And even if you don't feel like you can trust your way of doing it, but when you can trust God, then you know that you are going to be successful in whatever you do. So as you go on about this day, no matter what the devil may be whispering in the back of your mind, no matter what type of emotions he may be triggering on the inside of you because you're going without and you're giving God space to get you a breakthrough, I want you to be confident in the most high enough to know. Come on today that you need to trust the work. Because I want you to understand this, that what God revealed to me is the work that he is doing on the inside of you is spiritual, is life-changing, it's abundant, it's healing, and it's real, real, real good. And until the next video, guys, peace, because I still be believing in you. Bye now.